Welcome to Canada Bucks. Today we are looking at the Echo Dot, a review of the third version, the third version of it, and in a later video, I'll show you how to set it up with an existing Echo Echo device that you already have. So let's take a look. So this is the new Echo Dot, the third version from Amazon. The old version was um, about the same size, about this big, um, and it was plastic and it didn't have the felt here. You could pay more and you could have a little uh, little add-on and do that, but now it uh, is by default like that. It also has louder sound, uh, sorry, louder sound, better bass, and uh, looks a little nicer too in my mind, a little less plasticky. So let's open up and take a look. So as we open this, there we go, we can see the dot. So it's quite simple. It really just looks like a big puck in all honesty there. Um, so there's the puck, let's take the plastic off. And if you already have one, you'll know what this is like. If you have the old one, again, a little bit larger. Um, you have that felt on the outside, it's gonna be louder, better bass, and a few things like that, a few little improvements. But that's it. The package also comes with, let's take a look inside here. We have some manuals, uh, we got one setup guide, which tells you how to plug it into a speaker and that type of stuff. And we got import information and warranty, warranty, and a card with things to try. So that's kind of cool. Bottom, I imagine we have the power plug. There it is. The plug, the box is now empty. Toss that to the side. There is a plug. It is the standard 15 watt plug that you're going to see with all the Alexa devices. They are, as of, as far as I know, all the current versions are all the same. 15 watts. So of course, there is a plug. It is not micro USB. So remember, it is separate. We will plug it in, and we'll plug this in over here. There we go, it's plugged in. We should get a blue, oh, there's a blue circle already there. So that is starting up now. To start it up, you're gonna have to have a few different things. So um, you can either have a tablet, a phone, or um, yeah, you gotta have one of those things. So I'm gonna pull my tablet that I've used in other videos here, so one moment. And that's still loaded anyways, so there is my tablet. I have, so I've reviewed this previously and worked on it. It's my go-to tablet for anything Alexa. I don't know if it was making sound or if my window was making sound. Hello. Your device is ready for setup. Just download the Alexa app and follow the instructions. Bonjour. Votre appareil est prêt pour la configuration. Téléchargez l'application Alexa et suivez les instructions. There we go. So it tells us in English and in French to download the app and set it up. So let's do that right now. So we'll get the tablet going here. Let me turn up the brightness so you guys can see along. Uh, it's a little fuzzy. I think the focus is off on the tablet. Let me just raise it just a little bit there. Okay. I know it's not perfect. I apologize. Um, so we we'll go to the Alexa app, which is bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Alexa. There you go. It's not too bad now. This is still going. I'll put that over here. Should you want to get this box? I'll set it on here because that was how I set my focus to start with. There we go. Okay, I'm just loading, taking us time. Okay, so we're now here. So we can now set it up. So over on your Alexa app, if you don't have it, download it, link for the Play Store is below. Install it, then we'll go to devices over here. It kindly tells you to add a new device, go up here. You can see all your other groups and your devices. So if I click Echo, we can see already the current ones I have. Go back. Add. Add a device. Now, here's some interesting stuff. This is a stereo pair. Um, if you got two of these for Christmas or bought two for yourself or wherever you have two from and they're exactly the same, color can be different, but the model has to be the same, you can create a stereo pair, uh, which means you can basically have a left and right channel and it plays like that. Now, you probably could spend your money on a 
speakers that don't have Alexa that for $40 that sound better than one of these and then have one and do the same thing, but maybe you don't have a gift receipt, an option. Uh, the multi-room music uh, allows you to have this in different rooms. That's what I have in use, um, so it keeps it all syn synced up. And of course, you can plug your external speakers into the audio aux cable here. So we'll add a device for now. I'll modify my groups later. Back here. So we're going to add uh, an Amazon Echo. Click that. You choose what it is. Let's see if I can get this in focus a little more for you guys. There we go. I think that's worse. There we go. Um, so you choose what you have. So in this case, we have an Echo Dot. There are some other ones here. Uh, Echo Tap, really old. Uh, the sub is the new one that came out. It's the big one. A connect is your for your phone. Uh, probably don't have that in Canada. Uh, Echo Dot is a small. Echo Plus. Or Echo Plus is a huge one. Echo is a regular size one. Okay, so we'll choose Echo Dot. It confirms. This is the current one. This is the first gen run. Okay, so we are confirming it's the third gen. Gotta make sure you have Bluetooth on, which we don't. Bluetooth on, it's searching for it. Oh, there it is. Each one's gonna be unique to a degree, I'm sure. I haven't had, I have three now. They all have different names. Select your Wi-Fi network you want to load with. So I'm gonna use the previously paired one. Um, for multi-room music, make sure they're all in the same network, otherwise you're gonna have issues. Um, mine all were, and I still ran into issues. It took a while to set up, but I did get it. Um, I'll create a separate video about that. Let's connect in here. As long as the orange is going, it means it's in connection mode. So that's a good. That is a good sign indeed. This is also still connecting. Looks like a little dot here. Also good. There we go. Connected. Connected. Your device is ready. All right. Continue. Now this is the interesting part. So it's going to say you're going to use aux, Bluetooth, or built-in. Now, personally, I want to use an aux cable. Uh, I'm thinking. I might use Bluetooth. We'll see. But uh, for now, keep it simple for the video. I'm going to choose Bluetooth speaker. Okay. We choose where it is. It's in my living room. Looks like we can now get a video on the setup. This is new compared to last time. Uh, I don't think we can skip through that. It's funny how it plays on your actual device, not on, not on Alexa. Yeah, that heard me say the name. It's not like my Wi-Fi. We'll back out, go back in, see if we can skip it. I think we can. There we go. So it's on. So now if I go to devices, there is all three. So we got the dot, my first echo, my second echo, um, and then multi music. This is you click it. I call my group everywhere because I would say play music everywhere and then it plays it everywhere. Uh, we will enable that, save. It's gonna link them up. And now when I say everywhere, it will now play on all three as opposed to the two previously. Anyways, that is the basic setup of the Echo Dot. Um, I'll let this go. Um, things you can do with it and the important things if you are setting up for the first time, this is your first device. Um, a lot of the extra features are enabled by what's called skills. So you can go to the skills store, which is in the app, um, to enable them. Um, there is dedicated buttons on here. So volume up, volume down, record, don't listen. 
So if you don't want to say, if you don't want to have a wake word, you can push it and say, what time is it? It's 2.25 p.m. Or if you don't want it to hear you or to listen, you push this button, it stays red, you know it's not in, in listening mode, okay? And you can say all you want. So if I say, Alexa, what time is it? Nothing. Oh, actually, my bedroom one heard that. But nothing here would go. If I turn it off, Alexa, what time is it? It's 2.26 p.m. Another cool thing is that um, if you have multiple devices, it's going to figure out which one's closest, that your voice is closest to, and respond to that one only. So even if you have like one in the kitchen, one in the living room, and they're, say, an open concept, it's still only going to respond to the one. Pretty cool. Um, things I have noticed uh, doing the multi-music piece in different rooms is that um, I haven't yet figured out a, a consistent way to have music playing in one spot and then send it to another room. You basically just have to replay the playlist and say play everywhere. So for example, I would say, Alexa, shuffle smooth jazz everywhere. Here's a station for smooth jazz music, smooth jazz on Amazon Music playing on the everywhere group. Now it's gonna play on every single spot and it says right here, smooth operator by Sade. I'm gonna stop it before I get a copyright thing. Alexa, stop. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, again, I'm gonna, th I'm gonna play around with mine and see if I'm gonna want it. I have a speaker system already um, that I usually put my music on. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do it, either, not sure yet, either through Bluetooth or through an aux cable. I'm gonna play with that. Um, I'm going to see if I can rewire the back of my shelf to run this through and have it beside there. If so, I'll use the aux cable. If not, I'm going to put this somewhere else in the room, um, and then I'll have it connected to Bluetooth to it. But we will see. Anyways, that's a review. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. Um, sorry, that wasn't a review. It was more of a setup guide. Uh, and if you want me to show you anything or any walkthroughs, again, comment, and I can definitely create them or at least walk you through with uh, comments and step-by-step -step on how to do that. Thanks for watching Canon Box, and uh, Merry Christmas to y'all.